from our GIS studios, I am Anicia Antoine and this is your Media News Brief. Discussions are underway for an improved action plan to further efforts on agro-tourism in St. Lucia. Among both agriculture and the tourism officials, a test is a timely undertaking as leaders in the two industries identify areas where they can partner to bolster increased productivity, sustainability and overall economic performance of both sectors. The Agro-Tourism Agenda Setting Meeting brought together key officers at the Ministries of Agriculture and Tourism, local stakeholders including CARI and the SLHTA, and regional agriculture development organizations such as ICA and the OECS, whose mission is to oversee the diversification of agriculture economies. Director of Product Development at the Ministry of Tourism and Margaret Adams, says St. Lucia is at a juncture where any movement in growing its tourism products must include agriculture features and for this reason calls for simultaneous strategic actions in developing the two industries. It is expected that the revised policies for streamlining agro-tourism initiatives will also consider building on the opportunities already available through ongoing biodiversity and climate resilient projects creating a truly meaningful, culturally appropriate and dynamic St. Lucian experience. The Government of St. Lucia reaffirmed its commitment to the St. Lucian diaspora with the appointment of an ambassador with responsibility for diaspora affairs in the person of Her Excellency Dr. Jocelyn Clark Fletcher. Cognizant of the contribution of overseas-based St. Lucians to their homeland and most importantly the untapped resources and skills they possess, government is working toward ensuring that they are an integral part of the island's development. Appearing on the NTN program interview, Dr. Clark Fletcher explained that the World Bank indicated that the diaspora has and continues to contribute to St. Lucia. She noted that according to the World Bank, St. Lucia's diaspora contributes about $35 million in remittances annually. The Union of St. Lucia Associations is a group formed by the diaspora and that group, according to the ambassador, will also be engaged in the fine-tuning of diaspora policy. Another initiative on the cards is the commissioning of a skills database. In commemoration of Reading Month and St. Lucia's 40th independence anniversary, the Ministry of Education, in collaboration with the Parliamentary Representative for Babono, recently hosted the second annual District 1 Independence Poetry Competition. The emerging winner of the poetry competition was Samson Charles of Balata, with Jamie and Seraphine of Fort Assaw and Kerapa Bequisner of Bogis coming in second and third places, respectively. This is the second year that Balata has won the competition. Parliamentary representative for Barbono stated that being involved in extracurricular activities such as this allows students to be well-rounded individuals. Participants of the poetry competition received prizes including book vouchers, trophies and laptops. This has been your Midday News Brief. Thank you for watching.